Celebrities in the basement, the place to be. Karen Wilder Martin on your TV. Politics, drama, music, sports, arts, favorite celebs, climbing the charts. First hand info on the live. Careers, next projects on the rise. Come visit Karen every week. Never know who's in the hot seat. Celebrities in the basement is the place. Good evening, I'm Karen Waller Martin and welcome to Celebrities in the Basement. But as you see, we are not in the basement tonight. We are at the second season premiere of FX Snowfall. Stay tuned for exclusive interviews with the co-creator, John Singleton, as well as some of his cast. So stay tuned, we'll be right back with more of Snowfall on the red carpet of season two premiere. Last words, just in case. Don't miss. You got three things in life when you're born. What your mama tells you, what the streets teach you, and what the future holds, which no one knows. That's the one you got control over. Frankie! Franklin Saint, king of all the white boys. I'm here to buy. I don't sell coke to kids. And what do you sell? You sell kilos to people with money. 50 kilos worth of cocaine hidden in a hot tub? I'm a soldier, not a drug dealer. So what are we talking about? How badly does the director want this war funded? This could actually work. Those 25 kilos could net us just under $2 million. What you doing with that much gold? You out for money. I try to do things the right way. You know what I learned? It ain't made for people like us. And that brick, that ain't worth the trouble that it come with. You know what? I'm rewriting the rules. You do not have my money. Where is it? Where's my money? This isn't for everybody. First of all, congratulations on the second season. Thank I'm so you. excited. Thank you, me too. <laughs> How did you feel, first of all, when you got that script? What was it about that script that made you say, oh yes, I'm Aunt Louie? <laughs> <laughs> um, she was so fierce. Yes, I just, yes. I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to play her. And then once I booked the role, I was like, oh, her heart is broken. Yes. I have to take care of her. I have to love her because nobody else is loving her. Yes. And I don't know who out there in the world is going to love her. So I need to love her. I love her. Oh, I truly so do. I'm I know so she glad. has her demons. They, the whole entire cast has they're demons, I mean, we but do. we all have demons, That's yes, right. and I truly, truly love your character, Thank the you. work you're doing. I am a true fan from season one. I actually watched season one over ah. before season two started, yes. so I'm so, so excited. Thank what you. What was your feeling like when you found out that season two was coming? Oh, we jumped around. <laughs> we were so happy. I was ecstatic, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yes. I want to wish you the absolute best. Thank you so Keep much. Keep doing what you're doing, all right? Thank God bless you. you. God bless Love you. It to the camera. Mm. 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 <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. Carter, aka Teddy. <laughs> Come talk to me. Wait, first of all, what was the feeling like when you found out season two was in the can? That we were wrapped up. Yeah, yes, oh, yes, man. yes. Uh, it's wild. You're so tired by the end of a shoot schedule, you know. Yes, yes. Um, and you're ready to go to the wrap party and just and yes. just and see and see everybody uh, relaxing, you know. But I think there's a definite sense of uh, a huge sense of accomplishment to look at what you to look back on what all you what, what all you've you've done. And I think this season's a wild ride for people. It goes some some really wild places. And now we're just excited to sh for people to see it and experience it. And I hope they really like it. So, Carla, let's talk about when you read the script. This CI turned bad like you are horrible right what is your family and friends talking about it when they saw the the, the premiere last year what, what were their thoughts um mom especially no, my, mom, about mom it. Yes. A, my mom's the biggest fan I, I like she just <laughs> <laughs> it is like it's also. I don't have like uh, I don't have uh, like social media of any yes. sort. Okay, well, yes. my mom has gotten like an Instagram and okay, a Facebook really? and all okay, to right. track snowfall stuff, yes, and yes. so she'll I'll, 
I'll wake up in California to a text from her and it'll just be like, did you see this thing on uh, Twitter? And it's like, yes, no, yes. mom, I don't have I don't have a Twitter. I don't have, like, <laughs> my middle-aged mom. And, 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 uh, and, amazing, amazing. Yeah. Amazing that your mom has, that your mom is on social media and you are not. That is amazing. That I is get made funny. fun of yes. her a lot. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. Tell my audience that that ending where you you know Teddy you know did that crash and wow yeah when you read it when we read it we were like oh boy here we it's also just exciting Frankie's about to be the man yeah 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 Frankie is about to be the it man oh yeah right? absolutely yes. um, and. I think on one hand we were all excited by the big the big uh, gesture of that, the yes. idea that we were going to do some really wild, unexpected things. And I think yes. on the other hand, I think uh, Damson and I were just finally excited that we were finally going to get to 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 talk to each other. Yes. You know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Last season yes. we mostly we would all work on separate days and yes. we'd just see yes. each other in passing or at table reads or whatever. It was like. Okay, Damson, here we go. Here we and go. it's going to start with a, with a bang. Together, quite literally. And it started with a bang. And <laughs> I know this season is going to end with a bang. And then we're going to on to season three and season four and season oh, five. Your lips to God's oh, yes, ears. Absolutely. I want to wish you the absolute best, Thank Carter. you. Thank God you so bless. much. You're so God lovely. Bless. Oh, God bless. It's nice you. to meet you. All right, you too. Ladies, I would like y'all to meet Franklin Saint, a.k.a. our savior, a.k.a. the big black apostle. What's going on, baby? Come on. Franklin's fine, all right? I've been growing a business. I want to be careful about who know the recipe. There ain't enough smokers in L.A. for all this shit. All y'all got to do is cook it up and break it down. I'll figure out how to move it. I got 50 keys of Colombian white. I got no one to buy it. So we need to find a drug dealer. What kind of business we talking about? No games, no tricks, no bullshit. You be straight up with me, I'll be straight up with you. Well, then I'm going to make you a very rich man. Coke from Colombia, that's how you're funding this? Even for the CIA, that's fucked up. If we win this war, we can change the course of history. I believe this drug is the future. I may be able to help you solve a lot more. What you have to decide is just how big you want your business to become. Money does fall from the sky. We about to move into the big leagues. I know what you've been doing, Franklin. You're welcome home when you stop. How am I supposed to trust you? You're being a little bit paranoid. I'm a black man in America, goddammit. Hell yeah, I'm paranoid. Move right there. You just in danger walking down the street now? The better we do, the more tension we get. The more people want to take what we got. This ain't no corner boy shit. But you got one job in this life, and that's to protect the people you love. Snowfall. On FX. Hey, what's up? It's Damson Edge from Snowfall, and you're watching Celebrities in the Basement. Come talk to me, my How handsome Damson. How, <laughs> How you doing? You well? I'm well. Good. First of all, welcome. Yeah, Philadelphia. How, how is Philadelphia treating you right now? It's wonderful. We went to this place called Cat's Kitchen Bar. Yes. I, I want to go get the Philly steak. So okay, Philly get, cheese steak. I'll yes, get yes. Them tomorrow. Okay, all right, yeah. right. Let's talk about your character. Oh my goodness. What was it like when you read the script initially? and read your character. So my favorite film in the world is American Gangster. Yes, yes. And my favorite, the, the character is, is called Franklin, um, Frank Lucas. Oh, right. So, and, uh, uh, hello, here's yeah. Frankie again. Exactly. I love it. So I was running around the house <laughs> screaming it's mine. I really spoke into existence. Yes. And when I came to LA, I was prepared to jump through all the hoops. Mm -hmm. And now here I am. It's a beautiful feeling. You, you are Americanized. Let me just say, who knew? How do you master such an accent without your audience knowing you're from London? Wow. I mean, I, I, I said it in there. You know, I lived in Meek Mill's house for six months. Yes. I didn't live in Meek Mill's house. Oh. I'm playing with that. <laughs> I, I had Dub C on set every day. Yes. And he really helped me, um, more than anything, understand the soul 
of what it feels like to be a teen in the 80s in LA. Yes. And that, alongside being American all day, every day, yes, yes. really pushed myself and thank God it showed on screen. We have something in common. You're the baby of six and so am I. Wow. What? <laughs> and are you spoiled as well? I am so spoiled. I'm not spoiled. I used to get yes, slapped you are. <laughs> by 12 hands. So. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, five what, and my mom. Let me, let me just say, what did your mom and your family saying about this series? I mean, it's it's some stuff going on, oh, some yeah. risque stuff going on. What are they saying about it? Wow, man, they're so proud of me, you know. Um, they understand that the art form that I'm in, and they understand that, you know, as a mother, sometimes you're going to see her baby's little booty. Yes, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> but, you know, she's so appreciative of how far I've come, you know. She's been there from the beginning, of course, because she's my mom. Yes. And, you know, she's seen me go from wanting to play football to one day saying to her, Mom, I want to be an actor. Yes, yes. And for me to be in Hollywood now, it's a true blessing to her. Awesome, awesome. I want to wish you the absolute best. Hey, what's up? It's Damson Edges from Snowfall, and you're watching Celebrities in the Basement. God bless. Great work. Hey, what's up? This is John Singleton, Snowfall producer. You're watching Celebrities in the Basement. God bless. But I cheated on one of my favorite shows, and I tuned into Snowfall, and I am addicted. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh John. We need you. You are the creator. Where is this mindset coming from? Just me just doing what I'm interested in. I, yes. I feel happy that I'm able to do what I'm interested in yes. as yes. a storyteller. Congratulations on season two. What was that feeling like when the network said, oh yeah, season two is in the, in, in the can? Like, yeah. <laughs> We're going to go again and again and again and again. And again, and again. Yes, so many yes. stories to be told. So many, so, so many, many to be told. So many stories to be told in the hood. There's multiple. Yes. You yes. know, we used to sit up on the porch and watch the stories happen in the hood. Yes. Just see, so I'm like, now I'm able to tell our stories in television and yes, film. Yes. Instead yes. of just watching it happen. That's awesome. Perfect. That is absolute awesome. I want to wish you the absolute best. Keep going. I know you're on a long, a long tour right now. Keep doing what you're doing. Snowfall. Snowfall. Yes. Yes. Ladies, I would like y'all to meet Franklin Saint, aka our savior, aka the big black apostle. What's going on, baby? Come on. Franklin's fine, all right? I've been growing a business. I won't be careful about who know the recipe. There ain't enough smokers in LA for all this shit. All y'all gotta do is cook it up and break it down. I'll figure out how to move it. I got 50 keys of Colombian white. I got no one to buy it. So we need to find a drug dealer. What kind of business we talking about? No games, no tricks, no bullshit. You be straight up with me, I'll be straight up with you. Well, then I'm going to make you a very rich man. Code from Colombia. That's how you're funding this? Even for the CIA, that's fucked up. If we win this war, we can change the course of history. I believe this drug is the future. I may be able to help you solve a lot more. What you have to decide is just how big you want your business to become. Money does fall from the sky. We about to move into the big leagues. I know what you've been doing, Franklin. You're welcome home when you stop. How am I supposed to trust you? You're being a little bit paranoid. I'm a black man in America, goddammit. Hell yeah, I'm paranoid. You just in danger walking down the street now? The better we do, the more tension we get. The more people want to take what we got. This ain't no corner boy shit. You got one job in this life, and that's to protect the people you love. Snowfall on FX. Celebrities in the basement, the place to be. Karen Wilder Martin on your TV. Politics, drama, music, sports, arts. Favorite celebs, climbing the charts. First hand info on the live. Careers, next projects on the rise. Come visit Karen every week. Never know who's in the hot seat.
evening. I'm Karen Waller Martin and welcome to Celebrities in the Basement. But as you see, we are not in the basement tonight. We are downtown Center City at the Painted Bride for the eighth annual Come Back Philly Style. Stay tuned for exclusive interviews with our special honorees. We'll be right back with the 2018 Come Back Philly Style. And now I am here with the brainstorm of it all. We're at the eighth year, correct? Ninth. Oh, oh my but goodness! Is, okay, we are wait. because we skipped is, a year. We skipped a year, yes. but we still, I we still can we count it. Black Music Month. Absolutely. We didn't I didn't, I didn't discount that year because yes. I still did the advocacy of Black Music. And Absolutely. Actually, partnering up with people in Baltimore, Philadelphia, and Atlanta. So let's talk about that. Have. Wait, you now have come back. Not just Philly style now. No, you Atlanta. have Atlanta style. Yeah, it's just our third year in Atlanta and our first year in Nashville. Nashville, yeah. Tennessee style. Yeah. I mean, it's going to go on and on. I it's am so proud of you. you. Remember, the first one was at CCP. The first, very first one was at CCP, but the first one that we went was your second year. 2011. At uh, Freedom. Freedom, Freedom Theater. Theater. Yes. And we've been. Every year. And tonight you're honoring musicians, honoring one of my husband, which I'm really <laughs> excited to, um, about that. Yeah, um, big shout out to um, Councilman David O. Yes. Um, he was the one that provided us with the citations for yes. tonight. Mm -hmm. um, we're also honoring um, E. Stephen Collins. Um, big shout out to Kenyatta Johnson's office. Um, Chris Sample, he's here, one of E's um, best friends. Um, he's here, and then we're honoring Andrew Ford, yes. um, the second, um, Miss Brown, um, Joan Myers Brown, and Eric Robertson. So yes, I'm really yes. excited. Truly, and you know, guess excited. what? We've already honored this year, I've already honored 35 people. So right, because you, went, yeah, you so were in Atlanta. Atlanta, three, and then Nashville, no, two. So Yes, so 40 people. That's awesome. Yeah, because that we was at awesome. 35 before the event. So yes. yeah, so we, we already yes. hit, so we're about to hit 43. That's awesome. In some citations. So this year, what I really wanted to do is start giving musicians mm -hmm. the citations mm -hmm. just to let them know that they are important. They, Absolutely. you know, really appreciates them and yes. stuff like that. Yes. And with um, David O and his initiative to like really support the arts, I felt like it was, it was just, it was just, I just needed to definitely come. It was necessary. Come, yeah, it was necessary yes. to come out of his office. It was necessary for Kenyatta Johnson to bring it out of his office because of his relationship with Chris being his chief of staff. So it was all about the relationship. It's all about knowing who's connected to who, which make it make to make it make sense. Absolutely. So you know, we definitely want to keep um, E's legacy um, going because even though he wasn't technically my mentor, he had mentor ability. Yes. You know, he motivated yes. me by me watching him. He motivated me by just. Ha having meetings. Our last meeting was at the Ritz Carlton downtown. So it's like, I remember that. So, you yes, know, and that's what yes. a mentor is supposed to do. Have you remember things that they said. They Absolutely. may not say it directly, but indirectly. It's been 10 years, yeah. well, nine years. And next year is actually the 40th anniversary of Black Music Month. So it, it works out to where I'm celebrating 10 and Mr. Gamble and Deanna is celebrating. Are they going to be here tonight? Um, Deanna, yes, yeah, she will Deanna. be here. And we'll, um, now, who's accepting the honor? Is Lisa accepting the honor yes, for yep, E. Stephen? Yep. Okay. Lisa, um, um, Langston is here, and so is, um, well, we call him Rock, but the oldest is here. Nice, yep. yeah. nice. So, yeah. that is, so that's Lisa and the, her two sons her two are sons. here. Yep. Okay, all right, God bless. I'm oh, going to get them on And the then we're also, we're also doing a tribute to my cousin who, who died at the, uh, I don't know if you heard about the incident at the airport. So my little cousin, he got killed. Mm -hmm. My co-worker. Oh, no. um, so yeah, so we're doing a special tribute to him. My mm -hmm. cousin is here, to, and my aunt is here, my, my mom is here. My, so oh, my family awesome. is here in support of it, you know, because my little cousin, believe it or not, used to send me people to audition for the comeback. And last yes. year we actually had a young lady a part of it. So two years in a row, we picked people that he had sent us. That's so awesome. it's pretty cool to kind of know that his presence is still here. And absolutely. We're, you and know, if, I, if I'm honoring people I'm honor. not related to, yes. I need to honor people that I'm definitely related to and absolutely. definitely made a that's, part, so, that's yeah. been supportive from yeah. the beginning. Right. Absolutely. Izzy, yeah, so. Isaac Ham the third, <laughs> I am three media and and the unique brand. Yes. yes. <laughs> I have to get you used to the unique brand. It's, yeah, it's still new to, to me. <laughs> it's God new to listen. me too. I'm yes. trying to like really get it out there. Um, it's a concierge um, service, so I'm just trying to really get through Black Music Month and kind of reset and then go after that as well. Wonderful, so. wonderful. Eric Roberson, 
such a true, true pleasure. Oh, thank you. And you are looking dapper, I'm I must trying, say. I'm trying, I'm trying. Wife, the wifey did this, right? You wifey know? helps out. Well, she gave me the thumbs up. Well, I walked out, I said, yes. she seemed like this, she go, okay, yeah, you can go. Absolutely. And if it wasn't right, she said, no, go back upstairs, <laughs> but we'll no, figure, try something else. Exactly. The drummer extraordinaire who's being honored tonight, my brother, Johnny Croon. Hey. How are you feeling? I'm good. How are you? Wait, tell my audience, what was the feeling like when you got that email, text message, or whatever kind of communication that said, we want to honor you tonight? Okay, first of all, I said, I'm probably going to be getting interviewed by her. So, <laughs> so, so that's, all, that's all that was on my mind. Right. <laughs> and now I am here with the beautiful, vivid Megan, Kayla, and Janae, and... Jasmine is missing tonight. Yes. Let, let's all wish her well. Give her a, yes. her a big kiss. Love wow. you, yes. It's very important that we do these types of things, not only to encourage people, but to empower others as well. Yes. And so I'm very delighted to be in this position. Uh, I'm usually on the other side of it, honoring other folks. So yes. I'm a little... That's why she's here yes. guiding me through she's this. She's guiding you and holding you up. <laughs> that's yes. right, that's, that's, that's right. right. Trying to help the arts community, trying to bring some of the little ones up. Ooh! <laughs> Hi, I'm Skylar Martin. Welcome to Celebrities in the Basement. The, the base is my security plan. Absolutely, absolutely. So without that, you know, I'm lost. Okay, so maybe we'll just have your base up on stage with you when you're accepting your citation tonight. Well, I left at home, but I'm sure we can find one around here close right. by. <laughs> Council of the City of Philadelphia. So will bass player Stacy McGee, drums, keyboard, Johnny Croom, and bass player John Martin join me at the podium. What an honor it is tonight to be standing next to an icon, a Philadelphia icon, an industry icon, a dance icon, an entrepreneur. Oh my goodness, the list just goes on and on and on with Miss Joan Myers Brown, Philadenco queen of Philadenco. Wow, I have to hire you. I can take you everywhere with me. I love that speech. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Tell my audience. What was that feeling like when you got that message that you were being honored tonight? Yes. But there's nothing like getting an award by the people in the community that yes. love you yes. and appreciate what you do. Yes, yes. So I was really thrilled about this. Now, are you still dancing? Oh, no. I'm a has-been. Look, you, you, I have you been still have that dancer's body, though. That's called stir variation and aggravation. <laughs> <laughs> Tell my audience really quickly what's coming up in your camp. Well, um, right now we're just doing our eye care program with the youth, yes, uh, yes. mentoring youth and training them up for the entertainment industry and showing them all the different facets of it. Uh, I'll be getting back in the recording studio to record a new song nice. shortly to release a new single before the end of the year. Still working with Will Downing. Um, he's actually going to be releasing some new music soon. He's oh, actually touring awesome. the UK right now. So, okay, yes. And he'll well, be, hopefully I'll get the interview when he gets back to the States. Yes, yes. and he'll be, he'll be in, in New Jersey, uh, in Collingswood in November. Okay, with all right. Mesa Right. and Alex Bunyan. So. Well, maybe maybe we'll make it there and you yes. know get some back behind the scene footage this time. Okay, we'll definitely make that happen. All right, God All right. bless. I love you, Karen. Mwah. The King of Hooks is in the house tonight. Shout out to celebrities in the basement. Yes, in the house Corey tonight. I know we all Wims. sweaty. I rushed from the car, yes. but it's all good. Wait, and you have you your little son. Oh, say, oh, you on TV, pick him man. up, pick him up, pick him up for a minute so we can see him. He tried to get me sweaty. I'm in yes. white. I'm in Corey, white. tell my audience, you're doing a tribute tonight, right? I'm doing a tribute to Stephen Collins, man. Y'all know yes. what I do. Yes. Sound of Philly style, giving him some Harold Melvin Blue Nose, Teddy Pendergrass, Miss You. Yes. Make it do what it do. Y'all yes. know what I do, and uh, we just here to have fun. Got my son. Joss here with me. Hey, He's live on camera. He's the Prince of Hooks. And uh, we having fun. <laughs> awesome. I we just gave, we just gave you a little hint. That's it. <laughs> people all over the world. <laughs> Join hands. People all on a love train. They love 
train. That's yeah. it. That's yeah. <laughs> The place to be. Karen Wilder Martin on your TV. I'm Karen Martin. And I'm John Martin. And we're executive, executive producers of Celebrities in the Basement. And you're watching Philly Cam. that I reside in the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection of what a music mecca we are. Give it up for our ancestors, this generation of singers, my girlfriend Mimi in the middle, uh, to these wonderful musicians. It's refreshing to hear live music. It's so good. God is good all the time. Yes, absolutely. I love June for obvious reasons, having co-founded June Black Music Month with Kenny Gamble and Ed Wright. Uh, it's gone through a lot of incarnations. It continues to grow. This is the 39th anniversary of June Black Music Month, which was starting on the lawn of the White House with President Jimmy Carter, June 7th, actually, the exact date. And I want to commend Isaac Ham, Izzy Ike, to many of us. Because Ike is the champion of June Black Music Month. He has, for the last almost decade, picked up the mantle and given me a little break. Many of you may remember the I Am events that we did during June Black Music Month, but he has taken it to another level. He just completed doing a comeback in Nashville and also a brunch in Atlanta where he makes his home as well. So he literally is taking this wonderful, spine-tingling experience of exposing talent and well-deserved people being honored. Uh, Bishop Ford, congratulations to you, to your family, for being honored tonight. Um, my dear Eric Roberson, I love you, Eric. And you know, Mary Garound is still my favorite Eric Roberson song, I just gotta say that. Okay, and um, a woman who is a legend, literally. You, you know, you use that word sometimes a little lightly, but in this case, with Joan Myers Brown, there's no using it lightly because she is, in fact, a legend in Philadelphia and around this globe. Yeah. Philadanko, one of the preeminent dance companies, purple, pink, white, orange, black, right here in Philadelphia, birthed by um, Joan Myers Brown. I had the honor years ago, a long time ago, to be on her board, so I know, I know her commitment and her passion for the arts as it pertains to dance and our culture. Uh, I wanna take my seat so I can continue with you to enjoy this beautiful program, but I wanna take a moment to say, Sly said it best when he sang, everybody is a star, so we all have our unique shine, but I wanna take a moment to recognize my sister in broadcasting, Lady B, sitting in the front. I would be remiss to not recognize my colleague and my sister on the mic. So with that said, continue to enjoy this evening. Kudos to all the people backstage whose names you don't know, you don't see, who are working very hard with Ike to make this a successful June Black Music. The comeback, Billy style right here at the Painted Bride Art Center. Thank you so much. Just to keep it like it is, girl. Just because I've been looking for something. I don't know what it is. I ain't found it yet. I won't stop for nothing. I don't know what it is when my mind is set. I can't stop for nothing. Can't stop for nothing. I hope it's not in vain. And it's not for nothing. I've been looking for something. Karen Wilder Martin on your TV, politics, drama, music, sports, arts, favorite celebs. 
climbing the charts. First hand info on the live. Careers next projects on the rise. Come visit Karen every week. Never know who's in the hot seat. Liberties in the basement is the place.